Hey folks, this is Steve with Nonprofit Ally and today's video is going to be about running your board meetings. Recently got a couple emails from some listeners of my podcast who wanted to know, one question was, what do we talk about at our meetings? What are we supposed to talk about when we run our board meetings? The other question was, how can I run a more efficient board meeting? Uh, this particular listener, their board meetings were, were basically two hours of, of nothingness. They would finish their board meeting and they would be like, what did we accomplish? I don't feel like I know what I'm supposed to be doing now, right? And I've definitely been in that position where I've had those two hour board meetings where people just sidetracked along in the meeting. You got done with the meeting and you're just like, what did we accomplish here? And, and that can be frustrating for board members. It can be struck, uh, frustrating for any staff you may have because you leave board meetings with, with really nothing accomplished, no direction, and, and, and some people just feel like it's a waste of time. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to outline your board agenda. Agendas are very important because one, it gives structure to your meeting. It gives the people in the meeting, this is what we'll be talking about. This is the order we're going to be talking about it in. And for the pretty much, if you have a good chair of your board, a good uh, ED or a good board president or whoever's running your meeting, if you have a good person running that meeting, they'll make sure you stick to the agenda. And when you get off topic, you can, be, you can direct people back to the agenda and say, look, it's not on the agenda. It is important um, what you're talking about, but let's make sure it gets on the next agenda. But right now, we're going to follow our agenda because we have a timeline here and topics we need to discuss. Ideally, your board meetings could be an hour long. If you follow the agenda, you stick to the topics, you could go through your board agenda, assign tasks and duties, get your reports done in an hour. Wouldn't that be great? So that's the goal here. So here is the basic structure. And this board agenda, this is, um, you know, you can get more complex than this. You could simplify it even more. But here's a basic board meeting agenda. And it pretty much Robert's Rules um, recommends a lot of what we're going to be talking about. So first thing you want to do, and, and before we even get started, there will be a, a template board meeting agenda for you to download. The link will be below in the, uh, in the notes to this video. Now, so you're starting your board, your board meeting. The first thing you do is you call that meeting to order. It may seem kind of silly to be, you know, bang a gavel and go, hey folks, we are calling this meeting to order. But by doing so, all the side talk and, and uh, chatting going on in, that in the meeting room will, should stop. People will get ready for the, the business at hand. You simply just say, this meeting has come to order. You don't have to have a gavel. Or if you want to be more formal, you can say, the meeting of so-and-so nonprofit on this date and time is now called to order. You say that, people will kind of snap up. They'll be like, okay, cool. I should get my pen ready and uh, get ready to take some notes here. Now, once your meeting has been called to order, you should do a roll call. A roll call. And the roll call doesn't necessarily have to be uh, um, the, the secretary of your nonprofit reading everybody's name and everyone going, I, or, or here. Um, governments do that a lot. I've definitely been a, a, a government official where I had to say, you know, I, or here. And, but for the most part, you know who's in the room. It's, it's in, it's, you're not in a public setting. Your roll call could simply be the secretary going through the list of board members and, and just saying, okay, we, you're here, you're here, you're here, you're here, we are missing uh, A and B, um, and then pronouncing whether or not you have a quorum, at which point the, the secretary would say, we have a quorum, and the meeting can commence. If you don't have a quorum, your meeting is over. doesn't mean you have to leave, you can still talk about stuff, but there is no official meeting happening, there's no minutes being taken. Now, once the roll call has been taken, we're assuming you have a quorum, you can go into the approval of the agenda. So you'll have the agenda there in front of you and the old business, the new business, the committee reports will all be on there. And this is when the, the board president will ask, uh, do I have a motion to approve the agenda? And if for some reason something needs to be added or maybe something to be taken off, maybe there's a, some new business that someone's not prepared to present, this is when you can change your agenda. It does have to be voted on and a majority or whatever constitutes a majority within your bylaws will then approve the agenda. Once the agenda is approved, you can move on to the next thing, which is approval of the minutes. Your minutes are the minutes from your last meeting. Your, your secretary took those notes and has submitted them to the board. Some boards will read those minutes. 
that's tedious. I highly recommend getting the board minutes out to the board members um, and just assume that everyone has read it. You get to the approval of the minutes and unless there's a change like, oh, I didn't vote that way or it was, this was documented wrong, the minutes should just get approved and move on. Now, once the minutes are approved, you're going to go into the reports, the committee report time. Some people break this down into subcategories, and I'm going to talk about that in, in a second here. But for the most part, your committee reports are your standing committees, your finance committee, your personnel committee, your fundraising committee, maybe even events committee. Whatever standing committees that you have, have an opportunity now to give their reports. So they'll give updates on, on the, the goings-ons within their own committees. Now, some people break these down even further by including two other reports within the committee report. One would be the treasurer's report, at which point the treasurer would be giving the, um, uh, the, uh, the, the monthly profit and loss statement, maybe the year-to-date profit and loss statement, along with your account information, the balances of all the accounts that you have, and then, of course, taking questions. The other report that is very common at this point is your executive director or your manager will also give a report at this time um, during the committee report uh, section of your agenda. So you go through each of those, allow for questions, and then you move on. Everyone's given their reports, you know your financial standing, the ED has updated you on um, any programs or events or correspondence that they had that were exciting or, or needed responding to. Now you move into your, the business of your meeting. And the business of your meeting is going to be, first you start with your old business. That's the next thing on your agenda. Your old business is stuff that has been talked about in a previous meeting, has been on the official agenda of a previous meeting, and is now there's a follow-up or there's a continuation or there's an update or there's a, a report that's due or, or whatever. So you have old business that's a continued conversation that's going on. It could be um, old business could be a grant that you're continuing to, to update people on. Old business could be a fundraiser that's coming up, an event that's coming up, a personnel issue that's coming up um, that maybe you're hiring somebody. So old business is at that stage. Now you go through the different topics of old business and then you go into the new business, right? New business is exciting. New business is kind of the icing on the cake but, or, or your dessert, right? So you've gone through your roll call, your approval of the minutes, your agenda. You're going through this. Now you get to the new business. This is what's coming up and those topics get discussed. So maybe you have a new grant opportunity or a, you, you, a, um, a new board member um, to introduce, whatever it may be, right? And so your new business comes up at this point. Once you go through your new business, you now can open it up to comments. Some of, some of these comments, it could be open, there may be public there at your meeting, so the public has an opportunity to comment, or you can just go through the room of your board members and everybody has opportunity to make comments. Now these comments could be pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be very formal. Likely, it's going to be board or mission related, but sometimes you might just want to make a comment about the, the birth of a new child, um, a birthday coming up, or, or, or whatever, some type of comment like that. But for the most part, the comments may be something like, you know, I really think it's important to discuss um, X, Y, and Z. Can we please put that on the agenda for the next meeting? At which point the chair of your, uh, of your, of your board may, but okay, cool, we'll add that to new business next meeting. So the comments is a, a little bit of um, an open area an open opportunity for people to talk about a variety of things. It could just be a kudos to somebody. At which point, you're now finished with your meeting. So you can adjourn your meeting, and this does take an official motion, especially if you're, especially if you're following Robert's rules. Someone will motion to adjourn, you'll second that motion, and then the meeting will be over. So real quick, rundown of a basic board meeting following um, Robert's rules. Call to order. Meeting has started. Roll call. Make sure you have a quorum. Approval of the agenda. The agenda looks great. Nothing to be added or taken away. Approval of the minutes. Everything looks fine from the last minutes. No corrections to be made. They are now official. Reports from your committees, which could include your treasurer and your ED reports, as well as all your standing committees. Then you go into your old business, which could be two or three topics. And then on to new business. Once the new business is done, you can go ahead and have comments open to all board members. There may be no comments. You may be done. And 
finally you adjourn your meeting. All right, it's that simple, folks. So the key here is to stay on topic. When you're on an agenda item and it starts to stray into something that's either not on the agenda or later on in the agenda, it's up to the chair or other board members to call a point of order, point of order, and simply to say point of order, um, hey, this topic is discussed under new business. Can we wait till then to get into that? Let's keep on the topic that we are on uh, the agenda now. Um, typically, as long as you have a good, strong uh, chair or board president or ED, whoever's running your meeting, president, then they can keep everybody on task. But sometimes if the, the, if the chair isn't paying attention, then other board members can simply just say a point of order um, that is later on in the agenda or this is not on the agenda right now. We could add it to the next agenda and that will help keep you straying. Um, I've been on board meetings that have strayed so off topic, it's, it's hard to even remember what you were originally talking about. So catching that quickly keeps you on task. All right, folks, that's it for uh, simple board meeting agendas. Again, there'll be a download for you down. Uh, there'll be a link down here below. Click on that link. There'll be a, a PDF or probably a Word document there for you to download. Thanks so much for watching, folks. NonprofitAlly.com is the website where you can find a lot of information out on starting your nonprofit, funding your nonprofit, uh, gaining awareness for your nonprofit, and building your board. We have a podcast over there as well as a blog. So um, head on over to NonprofitAlly.com. Thanks so much for watching this. And hey, if you like it, please follow or thumbs up or both. It'd be great to have you um, as one of, the, one of the people following Nonprofit Ally. All right, have a good day. Thanks, folks.